Good morning, guys. I'm here at this blog, somebody's blog, which I could have written. I didn't write it, but I could have. Gift of the Red Bird. Okay, this is going to be about how the Lord has used red cardinals in my life. And a lot of people have experienced this. Okay, you know, some people think that the Lord cannot use animals, but I believe he does use animals. And he will use things to comfort us. He uses the red cardinal to comfort me and encourage me every time. It's, it's not just an occasional thing. Every time that I feel stressed or depressed or oppressed <laughs> or upset in any way, the Lord will bring me a red cardinal in an amazing way. Now, you know, the Lord can use animals. Uh, he used Balaam's donkey to speak. He even spoke through a donkey. If he spoke through a donkey, he can most certainly send an animal to encourage you in a certain way, just a certain way that it will come to you, that you'll know it's from the Lord. You'll just know it. You'll have that check in your spirit that tells you that God did this. Okay, and uh, I have someone who was very skeptical of God speaking through animals like this. I had a, a suburb that was very skeptical of that. And this is an amazing story. He had a, he had a migraine and uh, the, a red bird appeared to him. And, and I had told him that, you know, that's how the Lord encourages me and comforts me. Like if I'm sick, if I had a migraine or something, he would do that to comfort me. And some people believe that it's because a red cardinal uh, stands for the red blood of Jesus, the shed blood of Jesus Christ, that that's why he uses cardinals. Now he might use a different bird for you, but I've heard of, of a lot of people seeing the red cardinal. And just, just as a couple of examples, like when I go on a trip, if I go on a trip and I'm going to be alone and I'm going to be driving a long way, this has happened to me time and again. He will send, as I'm setting out on the trip, he will invariably let me see a red cardinal. One time I left my house to go somewhere and I was kind of nervous about the trip. I get kind of nervous on, on crowded highways. I just do, you know, the traffic, traffic congestion just really bothers me. And uh, he let a whole flock, and this is the most I've ever seen. I saw about four or five red cardinals at one time in one group. And I'm telling you, they flew right over the front of, of my car, not directly over the hood, but right in front of the street where I was going down, a whole group of them. And I was just amazed. I said, thank you, Jesus. And another time, and see, it happens in just a way that you know it's from him. Okay, I knew it was him because he showed me the cardinal so many times before. And another thing is that I get really nervous. I don't like to drive up, way up in the mountains, like those mountains that are really high and they have those treacherous S-curves. You know, they're really, really bad mountains, and it's like a straight drop. There's no guardrail over to the side. You know, you know the kind of mountains I'm talking about, I'm sure. Well, I just really get nervous going up those. And so one time, a relative of mine moved right on top, right on the tippy top <laughs> of a mountain all the way up, making me have to go all the way up. And uh, I was, I got off the, uh, the highway and I pulled into a gas station uh, to get a cup of coffee or something. And I, and I came out and got back in the car. It was at the foot of the mountain where I got off, okay? I was getting ready to go up this mountain and I was feeling nervous about it. And uh, I just said a short little prayer, you know, Father, please help me to get safely up this mountain and to not feel so nervous about it, you know. And I opened my eyes, true story, <laughs> I opened my eyes and right down on the 
pavement right in front of my car door. I looked out the side window and looked down and there sat a red cardinal, the most beautiful red cardinal. It was not but about two feet, guys, from the car door, from the driver's side drawer door I was looking straight down at this red cardinal and it just took my breath away because I knew it was from the Lord you get that check in your spirit that you just know you know that you know and uh, he stayed there so help me he's that bird stayed there <laughs> and just looking straight up at me that bird sat there for a couple of minutes he just would not leave I said, thank you, Jesus. You know, you've come to comfort my spirit once again. You know, it was just so awesome. It's just such a blessing, you know, when it happens. So, so okay, that's just a couple of examples. And it happens to me all the time. Every time I feel depressed or upset about anything, he will show me a red cardinal in the most awesome way. And if it's not, if there's not a live one available, <laughs> he will send like, he'll, he'll let me like, for instance, open a magazine and there's a picture of a red cardinal or a little red, a little figurine of a little ceramic figurine of a red cardinal, you know, something. He will use some way to show me that bird. And this has happened to so many people. And I could have written this, this blog here. I did not write it, but I could have. Now, I just want you to listen to this. The gift of the red bird. Many of you that know me know that I am totally intrigued and blessed by red birds. Some may know them as cardinals. I've had different responses from close friends and family members that know of my joyful feeling towards these beautiful birds. Some think it's so sweet and see the significance, while others just think it's plain dorky. <laughs> I believe God speaks to me through red birds. Oh, I know he does. Okay, want to know why? I will tell you. One day about five years ago, right after I truly gave my life to the Lord, I was sitting depressed in my apartment bedroom. I was looking out the window wondering why I felt so lost when I had just made the biggest decision of my life, giving my life to Jesus. I felt alone because I let go a lot of friends that were not wanting to go on the same path as me. Amen. That happens when you get saved and you truly devote yourself to Jesus. Same thing happened to me. You know, you lose, you lose a lot of your friends, if not all of them, you know. Okay, so I, I get where she's coming from. I felt sad because I didn't know how to walk with God and I was scared of all of what it all would look like. I remember saying sincerely, God, there is no purpose for me. I quickly look up out the window and saw this beautiful bright red bird sitting on the branch right outside the glass. My eyes lit up. I felt God saying to me, I have a purpose for you. You are loved and I will take care of you. I suddenly felt the depression lift off me. I felt full of joy and was completely confident that God was with me. And he had a purpose for the pain and loneliness. See, he will comfort your spirit with these red cardinals. If, if you don't believe it, try it. Ask the Lord. I challenge you right now. If you don't believe this happens to a lot of people, try it. If you're, if you're sick, if you're suffering, if you're depressed, if you're upset about something, if you're nervous about something, ask the Lord to show you a red cardinal and just wait and just look and see how soon he brings it to you. I just challenge you, and I would like to hear your experiences in the comments, because I know this has happened to a lot of people. Okay, up back to the blog. Up to this day, God has used red birds to remind me of his love for me. As most of you that walk with the Lord know, walking with the Lord is not easy. Amen. It's full of trials, testing, and sanctification. There have been hundreds of moments where I felt like I couldn't go on. And God in his loving kindness would always send a red bird my way to help me remember his promise. You see, God gives us eyes to see. He speaks through all his creation. That's it, guys. He speaks through all of his creation. If he can use a donkey to speak, okay, he can use these birds, and he does. Okay, if you allow God to speak to you, you will hear him and see him in ways you wouldn't have imagined. Amen. 
My dear friend Lindsay Marsh bought me this book called The Gift of the Red Bird, The Story of Divine Encounter by Paula Dorsey. Here's a picture of Paula Dorsey's book. Beautiful red cardinal there. How I love that bird because I know how the Lord sends it to me. To my sweet surprise, God has used red birds in her life as well. She says in her book, I am lonely and I feel depressed. As I write, a beautiful, a brilliant red bird flies by and takes my breath away on page 96. Weaved throughout her story is this red bird that reminds her of God's awesome goodness and love, just as God does for me. I am so in awe of this. God is so kind to send me this book to reassure me that it is him. He's not only using red birds in my life, but in the lives of others. Here are some pictures throughout the years of my red bird encounters. Look at that. That's her. See the red bird there? Okay, me and the red bird's artwork display on Market Street. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. Mr. Red Bird visiting me at breakfast. There he is. When I oh when I first moved to my new house, I just moved here a couple months ago. The the first few days I, I had put a, a bird feeder outside and cardinals kept coming. I kept seeing these red cardinals. The Lord was showing me, you know, that all is well, that I'm gonna be blessed in this place, in this new place, and that all is well. He was showing me that everything's gonna be fine here. Okay, there's a beautiful one. Okay, this one, Mr. Red Bird following me out of town on a cold winter day. That's it, that's how he does with me. <laughs> As I was just telling you, when I'm about to go on a trip and I'm, I'm driving somewhere alone and concerned about it for any reason, he shows me a red cardinal right before I leave. It's amazing. Okay, here's a real pretty one. This reminds me of seeing that red bird on the pavement outside the car when I was about to go up the mountain. That's what that reminds me of. He was just sitting there for the longest time looking up at me right by my car door. Mr. Red Bird singing outside my window as I spend time with the Lord. I lived with my parents for six months and my mom always, listened to this, my mom always knew I was reading my Bible when she heard the red birds in the front yard. My window faced the front yard. They would chirp and hang out outside my window during my quiet times in the morning. So sweet. Isn't that amazing? Look, there's, there's one on, you can hardly see it. He's on, sitting on top of the car. <laughs> Mr. Red Bird greeting me as I walk to my car. There's one in the trees. Mr. Red Bird hanging out in the tree right above Kaylin and I on our date night. This was special. Okay, that's a lovely picture. Here are the centerpieces at Kaylin and, and Mai's wedding. My only God knew that I would never be the same after he spoke to me that day in my room through the bright and beautiful red bird. I want to encourage you to keep your eyes peeled and heart open to how God wants to speak to you each and every day. Don't take anything for granted. He can speak through a rock, a burning bush, a person, a red bird, a yellow butterfly, a smile, anything and everything, because everything belongs to him. That's it. He can work through anything. Thanks be to God. Grateful and reassured that God does speak. He is real, and he is full of love and compassion. Okay, I hope this guy has blessed you guys, and please give your experiences in the comments. It's so awesome how the Lord works. He will use a bird or anything. He will use anything to touch your heart and let you know that he's right with you. He will never leave nor forsake you. God bless you guys.